Hello, friends. This week in our Humans of Gilderland, um, Humans of Gilderland unit, our independent work will focus on how to organize our ideas, how to organize our story, and what order should we put all of this information that we gathered from our interview? What order do we put it in? To help us do that, we're going to look at some examples from some students from last year. But before we get started, let's take a look again at our plot diagram. This week in class, we learned that all parts of a Humans of New York or Humans of Gilderlin writing piece follows this plot diagram. At the end of the day, it's a story, right? And Brandon Stanton wants to hook our attention. He wants to take us on a really interesting ride. So we started with our introduction, which is called the exposition. This is the lead. It gives us all of the who and when information. Moving up our plot diagram, we get to the rising action. These are the events that increase the problem. So this is where you will go to the supporting details part of your notes and grab some information there. All of this leads up to the top, which is the climax. This is the turning point. This is the point of your story that has the greatest action, the greatest surprise, the highest point of whatever the problem might be. Then we come back down our plot diagram to our falling action. This is more supporting details, but these events are the events that help to solve the conflict. So whatever the problem is, this is the information that will help us to solve the problem or make it better. We end with the resolution. This is where your words of wisdom, your connection to the audience. So what is how does what does this look like? Let's take a look at an example. So this is a writing piece that was done by one of the students, a Mohawk 7 students last year. And what Miss Fox and I have done is we color coded this writing piece. So you can see all parts of our plot diagram are right in here. You can see our key over here to the left. Everything that's the exposition is in yellow. All of the rising action is in green. All of the climax information is in pink. Falling action is in blue. The resolution is in orange. So up here at the top, the exposition, this is our introduction. So you can see, right, we it's all the way up at the beginning. And it gives us the who and when information. So in this story, she's talking about her family, which means her mom and dad and her, where, right? And she's talking, they were in Albania. Then she moved to Albany, New York. She was in elementary school. And then when she got to middle school, she moved to Gilderland. So that's, now we know who, when, and where, right? Here we get to the rising action, right? So this is where we start to learn a little bit about what the problem is. And in this story, the person who was interviewed talks about being nervous about starting school. I had so many what ifs in my head. What if I get lost? What if I'm late to class, right? Also, she talks about every time she thought about going to school that she had butterflies in her stomach. So her stomach hurt. She couldn't sleep at night. She was also really worried about making friends or even getting bullied. So those are all things that are starting to tell us there's this girl's nervous about going to school and that's the problem. The climax brings us to the morning of her first day of school. She talks about all of the emotions that she felt and that things were getting worse as it got closer to the when the bus was coming. Um, and she was nervous about how the how teachers would be and how the school would look and how the people would be mean to her. So now we're really nervous for her, right? We don't know how what, what will happen next. Then all of this in blue is the falling action. This is where we start to learn about how her problem got better. She talks about her mother being there for her, sitting next to her, making her feel better, giving her a hug and a kiss until the bus came. She got on the bus and then she saw a familiar face. She saw somebody that she knew and that started to make her feel better. At the end, in our orange color here, this is where the writer put the quote, the inspirational quote, that gives the audience the lesson. Some moments may be scary at first, but eventually you will get through them and make memories that will last a lifetime. That's the lesson. That's what this writer wants all of us to learn. So on the next slide here, this is Ms. Fox and I took all of that information and we put it into our plot diagram so you could see it in a different way. Right? We just saw it color coded here. Now, if we take all that out and we just put it in notes, you can see it still follows that same outline. Here's all of our introduction information or the exposition. That's the fancy word for introduction. The three details that are the rising action. Here's the climax, the morning of the first day of school, how nervous she was. 
the falling action, right? The, her mother being there for her, making things that said things that were making her happy. She got on the bus. She saw a friend from elementary school. And here's the quote that she puts in the end to tell us what the lesson is. So here's what you are going to do this week is practice with a new example that Ms. Fox and I found from another one of our students from last year. So here's a new example. This is called Mr. Postman. First, you're going to, you need to read or listen to the whole thing before you do anything else. And if you want to listen to it, you can click this button. Ms. Fox recorded it for you so you can listen. And Ms. Fox and I did the highlighting step for you. So you can see, right, here's the exposition and our rising action, the climax, the falling action, and the resolution. That part can be kind of tricky, so we did that part for you. But we want you to look at and see all um, the information and see how it fits, okay? Then you're gonna see if you can complete our plot diagram. This is what you're gonna do. So we took all of the details and we put it in these text boxes, and we want you to click and drag the events into the correct place and see if you can put them in the right order. You can see we did one for you. We can put one of the blue falling action pieces over here. You're gonna do the same thing with the rest. You're just gonna click and drag. Once you're finished, you're gonna double check to make sure that you've done everything you need to. Make sure you've watched the entire Loom video. If you're still watching, good for you. Then make sure you've listened or read the whole story on slide seven and then that you've dragged all of the text boxes on slide eight into the right parts, spots. And if you've done all of those things, then you can go ahead and turn this in and get your credit for the week. Okay, if you've got any questions, ask Ms. Fox, ask myself, Ms. Greenberg, Ms. Villay, we can help you. Um, and you can rewatch this video as many times as you need, but we'll practice with this in class too, so don't worry. Good luck.